So let's start at the very beginning. This is the base of which we're going to build our box. And it, this method of creating uh, a Lego box will involve a lot of calculation. Now, calculation is very, very, very important when it comes to m making these Lego things because you need to calculate how m first how many markers you have. And uh, if you use a brand like Copic, which I do, um, you will be collecting colors, which means you will need more space for more markers. So I usually make uh, space for more markers than I would usually have. So I have a 50, if I have 50 markers, I would make space for probably about 100 markers. So if I keep collecting, I would just keep making that. Then there comes the calculation part. See this bottom part of the Copic marker, the, the green part? You're going to need, and most markers will be like this. Um, I think I've calculated that most markers take up about these dots. I think they're called studs. I'm not saying this correctly, probably, but they're called. I think they're called studs. And they one marker, four of these studs. So you're going to want to take a couple of markers from your collection. I have a couple over here, and you're gonna just want to place them like that, just to calculate how many are in one and how many will fit in one, just like that. So what I have here is this base plate here and this base plate here of lego and uh this is this is what i've calculated to be about my markers and a little bit more than that so it will hold about 90 of them so you just got to keep lining them up like that until you have finished it now um you're going you're going to want to create something like this uh this is room for about 100 markers i think uh about 90 to 100 so if you have a specific number you're gonna be want to be careful at this point so I hope I'm explaining that well it's basically more of these and just calculate how many of them you're gonna need now you're gonna you're gonna need to calculate it like this so first you're going to need uh, what you're gonna need Lego wise listen to this, this is more of the calculating part uh, you're you're gonna need a lot of these one by whatever one by whatever you can find so I got a one by two here so it's one by two this is a one by let's see 10 this is a one by 10 this is a one by two there's a one there are one by fours everything you're gonna need a lot of these okay bear in mind I have not started on the actual thing I'm just trying to make something as an example for you guys anyway I've built just one layer of this Lego box now um, basically what I have here is just one layer so one story perhaps that you would call it I don't know what, what what you would call it but this is more measurements so you can just put the marker there and just put it there and just put one this one marker two three four five six seven eight so you would see that these would hold eight markers all together put up like that so you would see that that holds that much but there is going to be one more thing this is this is my tutorial on how to make it so you're going to need to split it around in the middle just like that and you're gonna to have to make something that goes in the middle you'll see why we're gonna be making that in when we actually start making it like you're you're gonna you're gonna see why we need to do this but you're gonna to need to make this thing that comes in the middle you know what let me search for a one it's right here just to fit right there you're gonna need one right in the middle so this is gonna be our this is gonna be the base of what we're going to be doing then you're gonna need one of these uh, long strips or whatever and just make your own out of these and uh, what I've done is you're going to just need to put these strips of one by whatever's just put it over like that so that the coping marker when it comes to it can just be put that way but this is just a blueprint remember where this is this is not the final product um, it's gonna be much higher when you actually start building it so what happens is there's gonna be this strip here moved up a lot and you're gonna just need to go around and start building and building and building and building until it comes to around here or the near the cap anyway so all the way up here so i would consider this probably like a quarter yes about a, just about a quarter of like three quarters of the markers uh of the marker so just build up all the way up to here so that's basically how you're going to be doing this you're going to be building it just around and around and around just keep measuring it all the way up to here you know, I just figured that with Copic, it doesn't need to be specific because Copic has a has a weird shape. Like if you take a look at other markers, they're actually like completely rounded like that. But Copics, they're oval. So if you take a look at this, there's there's like one, two, three, four. You could fit 
almost to it's almost to as you can see some parts are still showing which is why when you put like four markers it can still fit in here when they're not four there's one two three it's like three and a half of these but with four of them they can still fit because they're oval shaped and they're very narrow so at the end they probably could still fit so again it's not like specific like it has to be four it's exactly four it's just but approximately it doesn't need to be that so you, you don't need to calculate it at exactly because the coping marker is not going to fit like four anyways so yeah okay so as i started building i realized i've forgotten one thing that i needed to point out about this before we actually get into it and that is when you put in a marker uh such as when you start building to the at this point you're going to want to start building put it once you put the marker in you're going to want to start putting in these to put in here as little compartments uh to put in so i've got a four and a three and just continue putting that in like that so you're gonna need about two layers of these just two okay so you're gonna need just this that's all just this slide it in make sure there's four so there's space in there for the marker to rest in So I've built up the box quite a bit and uh, what happens now is I've built it up to almost the cap And what happens is I've made this huge long thing as you can see that that thing down below that I did in the blueprint Example thing below I built it up to about four stories uh, That way I could save some bricks if I ever need it um, in, in, the, in the project then I just put this thing over and the reason that I've put this thing right over here hold on let me put this in first is that when you put in when you, when you put like the reason why i have this these things over is that when you put in the thing it tends to fall over so um and it could fall over all the way down when there's only one like one marker in there so i built this thing as like a barrier so it just falls on like that so that's basically how i'm doing this now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be ma taking a whole bunch of these things i'm going to be trying to make stuff in between here uh sorry the camera's not catching it uh st trying to make trying to make stuff in between here like that with that we can do that so that it will just stay in here in this little compartment like that and it won't move all right guys that is my lego copic box i hope you got something out of it this is the final product uh i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you found something interesting out of it and uh it just goes to show that you don't really need to actually buy storages for these things. You can just make your own if you have these Lego. The thing is, it just takes a really long time to make and it requires a lot and a lot and a lot of Lego bricks. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I want to thank all of you for watching this video. Subscribe to Nonprofessional for more videos like this. And we'll see you next time.